We are on track to make cervical cancer a rare cancer and then within the next two decades potentially considered eliminated as a public health problem. And this is about successive waves of innovation. We're continually pushing forward towards the end goal which is elimination of cervical cancer. For the first time we're looking at seeing the reduction in the total mortality from melanoma in the Australian community. Without the Cancer Council, I would not have been able to make the achievements that I have for the benefit of patients. Cancer Council's Dunlop Fellowship has allowed me to bring hope to women with ovarian cancer because I would not have been able to develop my ovarian cancer models as I did. The undeniable excitement is that we now have patients who have survived 10 years. It shows what can be done. Cancer Council's support of the Prostate Cancer Care and Outcomes Study over the length of time has been incredible. The information and the communications that we now have that are available for men have advanced hugely in the last 20 years that I've been working on prostate cancer. There are probably close to now 30 million people around the world that have been treated with the growth factors that Don and his team first identified. Our Cancer Council made that investment in Don, it paid off, it was a brilliant investment. The ripple effect, it's been far reaching in terms of the impact that it's had both within the Australian and the international communities. Smoking prevalence has halved in Australia, which is an extraordinary achievement. And it shows that we can make progress. Our research can make a difference. Our policies and our programs make a difference. And that will do so much for reducing cancer in Australia. So we've been working with targeted therapies for quite some time now. And what we're really trying to do is to learn how to use these targeted therapies uh, to get maximal benefit. Funding from the Cancer Council is absolutely critical to everything that we do. For good cancer research or for progress in cancer research, you need to achieve momentum. I don't know how we would actually achieve what we, what we do without funding from Cancer Council. In 2002, we received our first Cancer Council funding. And what that allowed us to do was study calcium signaling in breast cancer which really hadn't been studied before. So it was a very new idea. It was very hard to get support from other funding bodies. And our goal really is to get these new molecules in the patients to improve patient outcome and put a little piece in the puzzle so we can all move forward internationally because it's an international effort to try and have a cancer-free world. The work that the Australian Childhood Cancer Project is doing with the support of Cancer Council and with our donors' support is unique in the world. We're getting closer and closer to better survival for children with cancer. Everybody knows somebody with cancer and to do something, to really do something to help people is a gift 